Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Holman, President, Provost, and Dean of the School of Medicine in Eastern Virginia Medical School. Congratulations to the 2021 Healthcare Heroes. This year's winners are a particularly distinguished group, including EVMS students, community faculty, and alumni. You all rose to the challenges posed by the pandemic to deliver care and comfort those in need throughout our community. We are so grateful to each and every one of you. As we continue to navigate this public health crisis, EVMS is committed to eliminating healthcare disparities and improving health around Hampton Roads. The award-winning EVMS Street Health Initiative in partnership with the Norfolk Street Choir at Freemason Baptist Church is but one excellent, meaningful example of this work. I applaud all of our student winners for their commitment to this effort, as well as all of the honorees this year. This has been an unprecedented year which underscored the dedication of the healthcare professionals, their expertise and professional values to give back to the communities in which we serve. This is something we can all celebrate today. Together we can do great things, and all of our honorees have done just that. Congratulations to all, and thank you. Hello, I'm Amber Edgett, Chief Nursing and Chief Operating Officer at Chesapeake Regional Medical Center. I'd like to congratulate all of our Healthcare Hero winners. This year has been particularly challenging and each of you in your disciplines and in your organizations have answered the call to help make our communities a brighter, safer place. Thank you for all that you do and again, congratulations. Hi, I'm Reese Jackson, Presidency of Chesapeake Regional Healthcare. Thank you for joining us in this wonderful annual event. We're here to recognize those that have risen to the top. The cream always rises to the top and that's why we're here to acknowledge these wonderful creative individuals and teams that have come together and really made a remarkable difference in what has been a remarkable year. So thanks to everyone that sponsored event, this event. Thank you EVMS for joining us as an executive sponsor. Uh, just thanks to all of you and um, enjoy. Hello. My name is Dan Duke, and I'm the editor of Inside Business. And welcome to the 2021 Inside Business Healthcare Heroes Awards. The nominations that we received this year in relation to the local response to COVID-19 on the hospital level was overwhelming and rose to such heights that we couldn't possibly award one over the other. All of Hampton Roads Hospitals came through in a major way in 2020 and have continued to do so. So while we don't have formal awards for them, we wanted to recognize Centera, Chesapeake Regional, EVMS, CHKD, Riverside, Juan Secours, Portsmouth Naval, and Langley Air Force Base Hospital, and all the workers from facilities for long-term healthcare who treat some of our most vulnerable citizens. In a few seconds, I'll be turning things over to Catherine Barrett to lead this presentation. But first, I wanted to thank our judges who had the challenging task of selecting this year's nominees. And they are Dr. Michael G. Charles, Medical Director for Clinical Effectiveness at Santera Medical Group and Medical Director for Clinical Quality at Santera Quality Care Network. Ginny S. Hoffman, LPN, Health Educator Coordinator at Chesapeake Regional Healthcare. Vincent Rhodes, the Assistant Vice President and Chief Communications and Marketing Officer for Marketing and Communications at Eastern Virginia Medical School. Dr. M. Ann Kuhn, Pediatric Surgeon at Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters, and Catherine Barrett of Bear Communications, an Emmy Award-winning journalist and former WVEC-TV medical news editor and anchor, and your host for today. We hope you'll enjoy the presentation. Take it away, Catherine. Thanks, Dan, and welcome everyone to the annual Inside Business Healthcare Heroes Awards ceremony coming to you virtually. This format is, of course, because of the pandemic. We really wish we could acknowledge you at a ceremony in person, but we hope you enjoy this presentation. Now, the pandemic has affected all parts of our lives since last March. And it'll come as no surprise that many of the nominations for this year's awards centered around COVID-19, reacting to it, trying to prevent it, treating it, 
helping those treating it, testing for it, and so on. And some were the more traditional nominees, and that's where we're going to start. So let's meet our 2021 Healthcare Heroes. Our first category is Community Service, and our honoree is Access Partnership. A man with quadriplegia was stuck in the hospital because there was no hospital bed in his home and his family couldn't afford one. Access Partnership gave him one and brought him home. That's one of many victories by this Virginia Beach nonprofit, which gave supplies and equipment valued at nearly $400,000 to Hampton Roads residents in need last year. Access Partnership accepts donations of new and gently used medical equipment and supplies, then finds people whose health and well-being depend on those items. In giving new life to the equipment, they give better lives to people who lack the resources to cover medical supplies. Congratulations, Access Partnership! Our next category is Innovations in Healthcare, and our award winner is Chesapeake Regional Healthcare Cancer Center. Reality can be unpleasant for someone in a hospital receiving chemotherapy or another IV infusion. Nurses at Chesapeake Regional Healthcare's Cancer Center suggested last year that those patients might need a little virtual reality. Now patients can use VR headsets to help relieve anxiety, stress, and pain by immersing themselves in games, guided meditations, and other relaxing virtual experiences. Most patients say it helps relieve acute pain, others it relaxes them. It doesn't change anything about the cancer treatment except the perception of it, making a difficult time easier. One lady even said it makes IV infusion seem like a mini vacation without traveling. Congratulations, Chesapeake Regional Healthcare Cancer Center. In the category emergency response of an individual, our honoree is Connor Smith. As Deputy Emergency Manager of the Western Tidewater Health Department, Connor Smith leads nearly 250 medical and non-medical volunteers. They support public health activities in Suffolk, Franklin, and the counties of Southampton and Isle of Wight. When the pandemic hit in March 2020, he immediately began recruiting more volunteers to handle the looming crisis. This was even before the state put out a call for Medical Reserve Corps volunteers. In his health district, much of the population is well removed from other medical services. The volunteers have been directly responsible for nearly 20% of COVID-19 testing, pretty much 100% of the vaccination clinics, and in doing so, they contributed more than $1 million worth of work that would have otherwise been funded by taxpayer dollars. Congratulations, Connor Smith. Our next category is Physician Emergency and our honoree is Dr. Craig Schrantz. The emergency department of Sentara Albemarle Medical Center used to be plagued by provider turnover and vacancies. Dr. Schrantz, the department's medical director, turned that around after taking over about seven years ago. By that we mean there's reduced time it takes for two things, wait times for patients to be seen and less time for treatments and to be released. That helps explain how the department in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic was able to achieve its goal for patient flow, placing it in the top 10% for performance nationwide. The stable, experienced team in Dr. Schrantz's department figured out ways to streamline its methods so that even during an unprecedented crisis, patients got the care they needed as quickly as possible. And we're told employees are now on a wait list to work in the ER. Congratulations, Dr. Craig Schrantz. In the category Physician Pediatric Hospitalist, our honoree is Dr. Rihanna Leeser. Dr. Leeser directs the only inpatient pediatric rehabilitation center in Virginia, which is located at CHKD. Children often spend weeks and even months there, recovering from severe accidents, traumatic brain injuries, and strokes. Dr. Leeser is known throughout CHKD as a tireless advocate and compassionate leader of the unit. She was also a key player in a recent $3.7 million renovation of the unit, which brought cutting edge technology to help her young patients relearn essentials, like how to walk and even feed themselves. As the child of a special ed teacher, Dr. Leeser spent time in her mother's classroom helping and interacting with students, and that early experience prepared her to lead a team 
dedicated to helping children overcome adversity. Our congratulations to Dr. Rihanna Leeser. Next category is Medical Education Initiative, and the honorees are Eastern Virginia Medical School Street Health CEL Initiative and the Norfolk Street Choir at Freemason Baptist Church. Early last year, it seemed that the coronavirus pandemic would derail street health and EVMS program. Medical students, under the supervision of a physician, conduct health screenings for the homeless and collect data for continuity of care. Then came COVID-19. How could the EVMS students and the homeless interact during lockdown? Well, they couldn't. So the students collaborated with volunteers from Freemason Baptist Church in downtown Norfolk to provide telehealth. Since April 2020, church and street health volunteers have held regular telehealth clinics outside the church. The students also created and gave out more than 300 care packages and have begun providing a healthy breakfast once a month to about 60 people at Freemason Baptist Church. Congratulations to the Street Health Initiative. In the category Healthcare Staff, Erin Lucier is our honoree. As an administrative assistant at Chesapeake Regional, Erin has a full-time job. While hitting a peak of COVID-19 hospitalizations last summer, she wanted to make sure that exhausted frontline healthcare workers knew they were appreciated. So she helped organize community donations for them, and after hours, helped out with the ER department medical tent operations. But she didn't stop there. Weeknights and weekends, she kept it up, finding creative ways to help support weary staff working 12-hour shifts. She created an Amazon wish list with snack items from crackers to coffee creamers and shared it with friends and family, even her husband's work colleagues. The treats that flooded in were distributed to frontline staff. And during a lull in virus activity, she saved up those snacks. When COVID cases flared up again in December, she assembled 230 treat bags to give a lift to the night shift who were back in crisis mode. Congratulations, Erin Lucier. For the category Corporate Achievements in Healthcare, please honor Heather Strock, Jane Wright, Carrie Burr, Tammy Richardson, Leanne Brocky, Randy Bright, and Iris Lundy. They were part of a group of Centera Medical Group nurses and team members who jumped into action during the coronavirus pandemic, working drive through testing events. They worked no matter the weather, time of day, or day of the week setting the example for all who followed in their compassionate footsteps. They coordinated events with the Virginia Department of Health, the Urban League of Hampton Roads, and numerous faith-based organizations and pastors. Many of the team's testing events were paired with donations of critical supplies, food, and other resources, like the event in conjunction with the Food Bank and the Hispanic Resource Center of Coastal Virginia. Congratulations to this COVID testing team at Centera. In the physician dental category, our honoree is Dr. Robin Langston. Shortly before the coronavirus pandemic hit, Dr. Langston experienced her own healthcare crisis, a cancer diagnosis. Throughout her treatment, she maintained her role as chief dental officer for the Hampton Roads Community Health Center. She oversaw her team's heightened infection control training and advocated for equipment and system upgrades to meet or exceed national guidelines for infection control. While COVID-19 hampered the department's ability to treat patients in office, Dr. Langston used the time to work on new community partnerships and dental outreach opportunities and made sure her staff was trained in safety procedures when visits could resume. And this dentist did it all with a smile. Congratulations, Dr. Robin Langston. In the volunteer category, please congratulate Margaret Marge Quinn. Marge Quinn has given Chesapeake Regional Healthcare more than 1,000 service hours. For the past six years, she's delivered mail twice a week to more than 90 locations throughout the hospital. She calls it a great exercise program, but more than that, talk about Quinn and her can-do spirit. She was a visitor spreading cheer along with the mail, especially to elderly patients. When the pandemic began and visitor and guest policies changed, she could no longer visit in comfort, but she never missed a day of delivering the mail. 
When she heard that volunteers were needed for COVID vaccine clinics, she and her walking shoes showed up at Chesapeake Regional's Lifestyle Center to greet frontline workers with her warm smile and positive energy. Here's another example of her joyful contributions. She recruited her own husband to serve as Santa Claus for a hospital video. Congratulations, Marge Quinn. We have a second volunteer and her name is Pam Blaze. When the pandemic started, Anthem Health Keepers Pam Blaze recalled her years as an ER nurse at Sentara Princess Anne. She was concerned about her former colleagues working long shifts in intensive situations treating COVID patients. On her own time, she began collecting cookies and messages from friends to deliver to them. Well, that effort has grown into a giant volunteer collaboration today, felt in ERs, ICUs, and COVID units across Hampton Roads, including both civilian and military hospitals, even Nightingale. Through her Meal Train Facebook page, contributions enabled her to provide more than 7,000 meals with the help of Mercy Chefs, Norfolk's Alkaline Restaurant, and many others. Volunteers and a long list of corporate sponsors helped her lift spirits from healthcare workers to housekeeping. Pam also launched the Pantry Project, providing snacks to hospital staff and first responders who often don't even have time for a full meal. Congratulations, Pam Blaze. In the nurse category, our awardee is Patricia Higazi. What kind of nurse takes a picture of the sunrise from where the hospital will be vaccinating staff and messages how fortunate she is to be part of making the staff safe? Patricia Higazi does. She's a 20 plus year veteran of Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters. As the Director of Occupational Health for Children's Health System and CHKD, she was responsible for making sure the staff was screened for COVID-19, was tested when exposed or ill, and followed proper protocols. She treated team members affected by illness with both clinical expertise and compassion. She led the efforts to train volunteers and immunize team members, prepared for the vaccine's arrival, scheduled for first and second doses, gave shots, recorded data, and reported all that to the state. With an RN, Master's in Nursing, and as a certified occupational health nurse, she's known at CHKD as a nurse's nurse. Congratulations, Patricia Higazi. In the emergency response category, our awardee is Senior Services of Southeastern Virginia. We all know that the coronavirus and state measures employed to try to limit its spread left seniors particularly vulnerable. Not only were seniors more at risk to become sick or die from the, lock from the virus, there were lockdowns, isolation, and inability to get out, and maybe they didn't even have a relative to help. Well, it's been a very difficult time for the elderly. Senior services staff and volunteers stepped up as a type of first responders for more than 14,000 seniors. Besides taking extra steps to provide meals, food staples, personal care items, and masks to seniors, the group conducted comfort calls to help people who were isolated. Senior services also launched the Senior HealthWise Connectivity Pilot Project to fight social isolation. They connected volunteer coaches to seniors to help them learn to use technology and to stay connected to their family, friends, communities, and healthcare providers. The crisis added an unexpected dimension to their mission of helping seniors stay independent and age in place. Congratulations, Senior Services of Southeastern Virginia. In the category of healthcare staff, our honoree is the Sentara Hospital Chaplaincy Team. What do hospital chaplains do? They hug, they sit close, they comfort in person. With closeness and touch discouraged during COVID, if not forbidden, Sentara Hospital chaplains invented creative ways to connect with isolated COVID-19 positive patients, their families who cannot be with them, and staff often reaching burnout. At Sentara, they stand in a doorway and talk from a safe distance. They connect by phones wrapped in plastic while making eye contact through windows, help patients connect virtually, or by calling families of patients who cannot communicate, and making sure healthcare staff know their efforts and their feelings are also acknowledged. The nomination said, 
Chaplains enter into spaces filled with anxiety, fear, grief, and anger, bringing what is needed, presence, encouragement, hope, or even a dose of reality. It's a tall order in normal times, more so during the pandemic. Congratulations to the Sentara Hospital Chaplaincy Team for adding that comfort in what has been a most uncomfortable time. Our next category is Children's Community Service, and our recipient is St. Mary's Home. Here's a telling fact about how St. Mary's 300 employees reacted last year to the pandemic. The home saw its lowest staff turnover rate in years. The home team, as they call themselves, rallied around the more than 100 children and young adults with multiple severe disabilities who live there. Staffers had to take great care to literally avoid bringing the virus into their facility among their especially vulnerable young charges. The home team also had to think creatively to develop fun activities to brighten young lives during the dark time. In the nomination, Chief of Nursing and Clinical Services Liz McEwen said, the staff united to be a proactive force at a time when so much in the world was uncertain. The love, passion, and genuine bonds they have for these young people has never been more evident. Congratulations, St. Mary's Home. In the category of Physician Pediatrician in Infectious Disease, our honoree is Dr. Laura Sass. As Medical Director of Infection Prevention and Control at Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters, Dr. Sass was in the thick of it last year. On an endless to-do list were things like developing testing, education, and medical protocols on COVID-19 to protect staff and patients from the spread of the virus working with the lab on testing for the virus, and the pharmacy to develop treatment guidelines for COVID-19 and multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. In addition, Dr. Sass gave a statewide lecture on treatment of COVID-19 patients to the Virginia chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. And the judges noted that in addition to a heavy workload, the mother of two remained an active Girl Scout volunteer. She's a troop leader speaks to troops, and serves as a delegate who attended a virtual national meeting making Girl Scout policy. So congratulations to Dr. Laura Sass. Our next category is Community Health, and the recipient is Hampton Roads Community Health Center, formerly known as the Portsmouth Community Health Center. The Hampton Roads Center is a healthcare safety net for tens of thousands in Norfolk, Portsmouth, and surrounding communities. The federally funded nonprofit center provides affordable and accessible quality health care to underserved Hampton Roads residents. Even as COVID-19 threatened to restrict its resources, the center launched testing sites for the virus in medically underserved neighborhoods and introduced HIPAA-compliant telehealth services. It found other ways to accommodate. It unveiled a Lift for Pregnant Moms initiative expanded a prescription drug discount program and added telepsychiatry. 2020 proved to be the toughest of the nonprofit center's 25 year history, but in a time of great need and great challenges, it enlarged the safety net. Congratulations to the Hampton Roads Community Health Center. For advancements in healthcare, the award goes to the team of Mark Haggerty, Tyler O'Corin, Aida Vincente, Alicia Dore, Shannon Honeycutt, Cindy Taylor, Sherry Taylor, and Mark Crow. This core group of passionate individuals on Sentara's virtual care team quickly ramped up the telemedicine practice when the coronavirus hit even though that's not what their planned timeline was. They sped up the technical side of it and the training of doctors to use it. Building on the work of Sentara's virtual care and IT teams, this group took the virtual care platform from 50 medical group providers to more than 1,300. Before March of last year, Sentara Medical Group averaged 30 virtual care visits a day. Now it's about 1,000 a day, and the team deployed a COVID diagnosis chatbot across mobile digital platforms and Sentara.com to help with screening. While telemedicine is becoming standard of care in many healthcare systems, this team's work particularly spoke to the judges for its virtual care innovations and ability to quickly ramp up a new system so patients could still get care during lockdown and beyond. 
Congratulations to Sentara's virtual care team. Our final category is Physician Primary Care, and our honoree is Dr. Stephen Greer. Like many leaders of healthcare organizations, Dr. Greer spent much of 2020 not only making sure that patients continued to receive quality health care, but also saw that his staff was doing everything necessary to protect themselves from the virus as it provided that care. Last year, the medical director of Western Tidewater Free Clinic oversaw the clinic's 1,200 patients with a total of nearly 10,000 visits to the free clinic. He led the daily COVID crisis team meetings during the height of the pandemic and the clinic's evolving policies and procedures. Things you could say went pretty well. A patient survey at the end of 2020 found that 88% rated the clinic overall as excellent and not a single staff member has tested positive for COVID during the pandemic, even though they safely managed the care of patients who did. As his nomination said, this EVMS graduate who joined the clinic in 2017 provided thoughtful and calm leadership, which set the tone for staff, volunteers, and patients during a year of chaos and fear. Congratulations, Dr. Stephen Greer. Indeed, 2020 was a year of chaos, fear, and let's face it, loneliness and sadness in many families. It required a whole sea change in the way we live and overwhelming heroics on the part of many in healthcare. And we know there are many more heroes out there and thank you to all who played a part in getting through last year. Congratulations to all our healthcare heroes for 2021. Well, we've come to the end of this virtual awards ceremony and this time we can say, we're looking to the future with hope. The vaccine is here and it's just a matter of time until we can meet once again in person to celebrate the healthcare heroes who make a difference every day in Hampton Roads. With many thanks to Inside Business for recognizing our healthcare heroes, be sure to pick up a copy of the Healthcare Heroes Special Edition available Monday, March 22nd. I'm Katherine Barrett. See you next time. Stay safe, my friends. Dan, back to you. Thank you, Katherine. On behalf of the Inside Business team, I'd like to express our deepest appreciation to our 2021 healthcare heroes, as well as the entire healthcare community for their tireless efforts during a historic crisis. Thank you again to our judges and sponsors, and thank you all for joining us. Please stay safe and enjoy your weekend.